And we're back with part four of the model yurt stress test. In part one, we experienced partial collapse at 47.5 pounds. In part two, total failure at 130 pounds. And in part three, the rafters broke at 175 pounds. I've decided to add blocking in between the rafters. There's slots that receive the rafters and hopefully prevent some of that torsional strain that was occurring. 45 pounds. 80 pounds, 105. 130, 150, 160, 170, 175. I think it's gonna hold my body weight. Let's get an accurate body weight for the test. 171. That is all my body weight. That is 181 pounds. Holy cow. We'll amp it up one more time. 216 pounds. This is a challenge. That's 215 pounds. It's so close. I think that if I had really let my body weight settle on there, that might've been failure. Oh, do I do it? Oh, it's so much work. All right, do it. We have once again reached failure. That one was pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. When I rebuild this yurt model, I think we've reached the end of our vertical weight testing. I think it's time to move on to some lateral load testing and some wind testing. Somebody was curious about the weight of the structure. I'll put a screenshot right now of how much the structure weighs, all of the wooden components. Another commenter asked if I was remaking the rafters. There's all the debris from all of our previous tests. Turns out the door and the lattice are exceptionally strong. I'm really excited to see what happens as we scale up and continue our testing. 